Welcome to the Iowa Food and Family Virtual Learning Series. My name's Stephanie Miller and I'm going to be taking you around my turkey farm today. A little background on our turkey farm. Um, Josh, my husband and I run this farm together and we have four sons, Mason, Clayton, Jonah and Luca, who all like to help us do the chores and help on the farm. I come from three generations of turkey farmers. My grandpa, my mom's dad was a turkey farmer and my dad's a turkey farmer. We built a brooder house that's behind me here. And then we have two grow out barns that we raise turkeys in. So the brooder house, we raise the turkeys in until they're about four to five weeks old. And then we move them over to our a grow out barn where they are raised until they're about 18 to 19 weeks old. Uh, we put about 8,000 poults in uh, when they're one day old. And uh, we do that six times a year. So we raise about 48,000 turkeys a year. Um, kind of a small farm, but compared to some farmers around here, but we enjoy just being able to work as a family on this farm and um, do that. They're, I enjoy being able to watch turkeys grow from a little poult to a turkey that um, is sent to market. And that's not to say that uh, there aren't challenging days. There are a lot of challenging days for me. Um, but I learn from those days and we grow and there are a lot of rewarding days too. So one thing my dad always told me when I first started raising turkeys uh, and I would have a frustrating day, he said, Steph, there's a lot of opportunities today. Let's, let's go take care of those opportunities. And you know what? That's one way that you need to look at everything. Everything's an opportunity. You can always learn from it and grow. And um, that's just one piece of advice that I carry with me throughout turkey farming. So with that being said, let's head on into my um, brooder office and I'm going to show you kind of how I start my day. So this is where all my equipment is that I use to keep the turkeys temperature, their water, and um, airflow running correctly. So first thing I'm going to show you in here um, is my control panel. So I utilize this to run my lights in my shed. They go on and off at certain times. I use it to continue to run feed to them. The fans run at different times. I have them on percentages so they run a certain amount of time during the day. Um, we have the heaters that run, uh, depending on what temperature I set it on here, and we have inlets so that the air flows through correctly. So this has um, programs that I've set up to run everything automatically um, according to what I tell it to. So depending on what age they are, it has a different temperature that it sets it to. So over here is my water system. I use these buckets to do um, vaccines in. We give vaccines to the turkeys just like humans. They need vaccines to fight against diseases that turkeys can get. We give vitamins to our turkeys that um, help them have strong bones and um, grow healthy. So we give them vitamins and then also over in the bigger turkeys we sometimes give them electrolytes so that if it's hot and they're um, a little bit dehydrated or anything um, to get through the heat, we give them some electrolytes and lots of other things too, but that's how we get those kind of medications and um, vitamins to our turkeys is through this water system here. Um, we check turkeys two times a day, once in the morning, once at night, just to make sure all this stuff is working because as we all know, sometimes electronics do not work correctly. So we do that to make sure everything's running correctly. One thing I was gonna talk about before we go into the shed is when we get baby poults, we have to get the shed ready. We have babies in here, we got about two weeks ago. Um, we had to set the shed up, we have to put shavings in, we have to uh, fill feed buckets, we have to um, get the water lines down and get those cleaned out good and um, put down some paper with some feed so that when they come and they're little babies, they can go on the paper and get some feed right away. So that's one way that we um, get the shed ready for our turkeys. Another thing is, is that in the mornings, I always write down on my tracking sheet all the information. It's got the time that I check them in the morning, the target temperature, the actual temperature, their water usage. So if we see a bag hop on water, we maybe think that maybe something might be wrong with them. We kind of keep a closer eye on them. So that's what we do with all that. We have the death loss, which yeah, we do lose some turkeys just due to health. Um, they're just not quite as big as the other turkeys and so they don't thrive. Um, so we have to record that and then any medications that we give them or vitamins. So 
Um, with that being said, I think we're going to head on into the shed and I'll show you kind of how I check the turkeys and what we do with that. Okay, so every morning and night I walk in here and I have to listen with my ears, I have to see with my eyes, to hear for the turkeys if they're loud, that usually means they're not feeling the best, I maybe need to give them some vitamins or something to make them feel a little bit better. Right now they're kind of loud because I'm talking in here and they don't like when people are loud in the turkey shed. But we also need to look with our eyes, make sure there's water in the water lines, that there's feed in the feed pans. Um, we need to make sure that these inlets up here that allow uh, wind, the right amount of circulation of air through the sheds, we need to make sure those aren't hanging wide open and they're cold. Uh, make sure the heaters are running correctly. So we just need to listen for anything that might be off, look around us, see how the turkeys are moving, that they're up and about, that they're running around and they're happy. So this is what we do in the morning and the night. Now, these turkeys are about two and a half weeks old right now. And so when they're about four to five weeks old, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move them to the grow out barn where they can live there until they're about 18 and 19 weeks old and then we sell them. So to move them, we use a moving cart hooked to a tractor. We load them up into the moving cart and we just drive across the farm and unload them into the grow out barn where they'll be there until they're about 18 to 19 weeks. So let's head over to the grow out barns and I'll show you some of the bigger birds that we have on our farm right now. These turkeys that we're gonna look at now are about 10 weeks old. So in about eight weeks, they're gonna be uh, sold. When we sell the turkeys, we sell them to West Liberty Foods, which is in West Liberty, Iowa. Um, it's a processing plant that uh, they process our turkey meat into the delicious cold cuts that you eat at your local sub shop. So um, that's where these turkeys will go in about eight weeks. So here we are in the grow out office. As you can see, it's very similar to my brooder office. Um, the control panel's all the same. Uh, we have around over here, we have our medicator buckets, a little bit bigger because they drink obviously a lot more water than little turkeys do. So that's all the same as the brooder house. Really everything's the same. So here's our 10 week old turkeys. It's a lot louder in here. This turkey's a lot louder. So I'm not gonna talk a lot. I'll just show you a little bit. We'll walk down through them. And these are the bigger turkeys. This is how big their house is. So they have plenty of room to get to food, get to water, and move around. Um, we, about every week to two weeks, we like to put some fresh bedding in here. So they constantly have something nice and fluffy to lay down in and walk around in so their feet don't get um, sore or anything on the harder manure. So we like to keep them bedded. As you can see, the turkeys like to be curious and see what I'm doing. So they like to follow close behind me. So that's my turkey farm. I hope you've enjoyed your visit today. I've sure enjoyed showing you around. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can comment below, put any questions below, and we can get those answered for you. You can also visit www.iowafoodandfamily.com for more information on food and farming in Iowa. Bye!